Hello friends, uh, welcome in javablogs.com Second video provided by javablogs.com So, it's so interesting uh, as you as you were, uh, so first of all we are uh, now, today we are creating uh, Java application which is uh, used to monitor a uh, local network as well as the remote network. So first of all, you have to open your NetWins and click on new project, we have to create a new project. So Java application, name of the project, it will be look like this. So first of all create a frame, then J frame, then that's your form. So first of all change the layout of your form uh, by change, clicking the set layout and null. Okay. Then after this uh, you have to set the properties uh, to open the frame. There is a, we are setting here the height width of the frame that is a 500 and 500. The close it will be automatically saved. So uh, first of all open the palette and drag a button. Resize it by dragging and uh, name the button. I have using the title monitor network. So uh, double click on this button. Then here you have to code. The code will be very short. So write like this process builder. We are using here the class that provided by the default library. So process builder name that object, click call to new, process builder and here you have to use a constructor pass here the smart j console. This is the case sensitive so use like this. Then use the function of the process builder class that is a process dot start. So it throws an exception if the console is not already or environment will not properly be set. So handle the exception by using the try catch. So that is simply coding of uh, the form. So click to run this project, click on the run point. Uh, that will look up here like this. Uh, click on the to start the monitoring. So click on the network monitor. It will open a window like this. Uh, you have to if you want to process, uh, monitor process the local process, then click on the local process. Yeah, if uh, you want to monitor or remote process, then you can select here. You have to enter the IP address and password here. So click on the local process and select the process and connect. Allow the access. So here you can see uh, the threading threads will be running in your computer uh, like this threads plus save which are using the program uh, this is the properties of your computer. So it's so easy and so interesting. So welcome and thanks to visit the tutorial. Uh, enjoy it. So bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much.